Good morning, guys. Um, it's good to it's good to be back. Sorry, I've been so long about making a video, but um, I just really felt led uh, this morning to um, to share something that God has laid on my heart. Um, I hope you're well. I know everything's crazy right now with uh, this virus, and I know a lot of people are um, maybe spending a lot of time by themselves and are asking themselves questions that maybe they've been hiding from and not really wanting to address for maybe the better portion of their lives. Um, but uh, on that note, today I would like to ask a question that human beings have been asking for thousands of years and will probably continue to ask until the end of time. So that question is, why does God allow evil to exist? So I want to talk to you about the book of Job, and I'm going to read a little bit from there today. So first I want to summarize a little bit of Job for you because it's a very long book, so I uh, don't want to read all of it. But to summarize, Job was a very righteous man. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it said he was the most righteous man on earth at the time. Um, he gave to the poor, took care of the needy. He loved God and he loved his family. He was a good man. But God allowed Satan to kill all of his children, destroy all of his property and all of his belongings, and cause him to be so sick that he was just miserable. God allowed all of that to happen to Job. So a large portion of Job is Job asking God, how could you let this happen to me when I've done nothing but serve you and been good? And you read through a lot of the chapters of this and maybe some of you, or I would say probably all of us at some point have gone through something that's been really hard for us. Maybe we've like lost a loved one or maybe we have ourselves gotten really really sick or we've just been in some sort of state of misery or trauma where we just wanted to ask God like how could you let this happen to me well if we look in Job after we listen to Job's um, uh, complaints I guess um, God eventually responds to Job And I want to read that to you. And this is in, I'm just going to skip around and read a little bit in chapter 39. Actually, I'm going to start in chapter 38. Give me one second. All right. So God responds to Job and he says, Brace yourself like a fighter. I'm going to ask questions and you are going to inform me. Where were you when I laid the earth's foundations? Tell me, since you are so well informed, who decided its dimensions or who stretched the measuring line across it? Who supported its pillars at their bases and who laid its cornerstone to the joyful concert of morning stars? Who pent up the sea behind closed doors when it leapt tumultuous from the womb, when I wrapped it in a robe of mist and made black clouds in its swaddling bands, when I cut out the place I had decreed for it? Have you ever in your life given orders to the morning or sent the dawn to its post to grasp the earth by, the earth by its edges and shake the wicked out of it? So it goes on and um, kind of says some things similar to what I just said. There's plenty more of it to read if you would like to read it. It's in Job 38 and it spans, I think, until Job 39. But what can we take away from the way that God responded to Job's questions? Um, I think what we should take from that is that God knows everything and that we may not know 
why God allows the thing that he does allow and that we also are not all knowing but that we do know that God loves us uh, and that we know that he loves us because he sent his son to die for us an excruciating death just for us so he's given us evidence that he loves us and we lack the ability to know um, why he does what he does so we just have to trust and have faith that since he loves us that he will do the best thing for us that he can and we have to rest in that faith and in that hope because there's nothing else worth living for on this earth than faith and hope in him so i hope this uh, has been helpful i know we could have talked a lot about philosophical arguments but i just wanted to give you something that god said himself about the subject so um i hope this has been helpful if you have any questions feel free to comment and uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.